What's up guys, this is Eggy and welcome back to another video on Zeros RSPS. And today's video is a little bit different. I actually had a few of you guys looking for a little bit of a money making guide on the server. So today, that's what we're going to be dropping. And of course guys, if you do want to come check out this server with me, link down below. And upon arrival, come into the bank and speak to this referral tutor. He's going to ask you, how did you hear about us? Click enter referral code and then hit my name, Eggy, for a free bonus into the game. And of course guys, Zeros is once again sponsored in another video on my channel and hooked you guys up with another massive giveaway. So guys, the first comment today is actually one of themselves a $25 scroll. Make sure to hit the bell down below if you guys want a better chance of being the first comment prize on every video. And as well, guys, another like goal today. You guys are blowing these out of the water, so I'm going to continue doing them. So, guys, today, every 10 likes on today's video, I'm going to be adding a $10 scroll to one lucky commenter. So, for example, if you get 100 likes on today's video, we're going to be giving away 10 $10 scrolls to 10 lucky commenters. If you guys want a chance to enter, just like always, make sure to like the video, comment your in-game name down below, and subscribe to the channel. As well, guys, link down below. Make sure to join my Discord. That's where I post every video's giveaway winners. And there's currently a 50 mil old school giveaway active in there as well. Anyway, though, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and let's get into it so guys you're just coming to check out zeros and you're kind of wondering how do i make some money so i can buy some end game gear well boys you've clicked on the right place for that we're gonna be going through a few different money makers that are actually definitely worth mentioning a few common ones a few uncommon ones either way guys let's jump into it so when you first join any server, your first little bit of money is pretty much always going to come from the thieving stalls. Of course, nothing different on this server, guys. There's five stalls here. Trade Sigmund, sell your junk here. The cake sell for 1.5k. Cup of tea sell for 2.75k. Silver Sickle are 4k. Red Topaz are 5k. The Jugs of Wine are 6.5k. The Gold Leaf is 8k. And the Bag Full of Gems sells for 8.5k. So thieving is not only a really quick, but really AFK and low attention money maker. Like I say guys, thieving is pretty much one of the best ways to start out on any server. Next guys, west of the home bank, another beautiful way to actually make a lot of money on the server is Slayer. Not only is there a crazy custom Slayer shop, you can buy some pretty OP items. So like full infinity, you got your warrior's ring, the dragon boots, you got all the glove sets, salve amulet, bone crusher, Slayer staff, herb sack, we have the full Slayer helmet, a few more untradeables, more importantly, we get some caskets from here too. Seriously, when I say that Slayer is a crazy money maker, I mean it. Not only do you get points that actually spend on that task, you're going to be getting yourself PVM points for every single kill. Open up the PVM point shop another nutty shop look at this guy so of course there's some more untradeables in here we got the fermented kill fighter torso etc etc on top we have the zamorakian spear every single ornament kit i'm a huge fan of these i really want to push for every one of these on my iron man but there is a massive shop that you can actually spend points on and on top of that pretty much every slayer monster on this game has a custom drop table and what i mean by that so for example guys you're gonna get yourself things like small medium large and huge cash bags which are literally just random slayer bags that give you a decent bit of cash and you can also get yourself supply boxes Boxes. These supply boxes not only sell for a little bit of money because they're crazy good for pretty much every skill in the game, but if you are an Iron Man on the server, these are the most amazing things in the world. You get yourself potions, raw food, raw scaling supplies, everything, dude. The supply boxes are crazy good. Honestly, guys, I'm highly recommending that your first path on Azeros is going to be their Slayer. Like, you can literally progress so quickly into it. Next, guys, quick little honorable mention. Into this little hut over here, you can actually come over here and speak to the Daily Reward Wizard. Well, are you a wizard? Open up the view daily reward panel. As you can see, look at this dude. So every single day that you actually log in, you're going to get yourself the next tier. Sadly, I didn't actually log in yesterday. I had a busy day, so it got reset. But as you can see, you can get yourself the large coin bags, voting mystery boxes, vote crystals, or more bags. Get yourself the Saren's keys, soda seg key, which I will be getting into later on in the video. Crystal keys, imbue dust, 10 mil cash. And on your last days, guys, you get a super mystery box, a mystery box, and an ultra mystery box. That is OP, dude. Literally just for logging in every single day day you get to claim yourself a bonus reward so guys even if you don't actually plan on playing for this day i highly recommend at least logging in and claiming your daily reward and on top of that guys the next place that i am going to bring you is back over to the home hut along with this guys the voting make sure to do your voting on the server every 12 hours you can get so much goodies from this speak to king percival here to actually open up the vote shop and look at this you get so many different actual like really good rewards for voting on this server like it is so rewardable guys like look at this vote crystals experience lamp ring of wealth ring of wealth scroll voting mystery box which as you guys know what i spend all my points on a bunch of cosmetics every single one of the dragon tools the fire cape fury ornament kit hill giant club like there is a lot in this shop guys you can sell your vote tickets to people or collect them and try and actually push to something that you want yourself like a pumpkin mask or a zamorak halo or anything like that 
So like I said, guys, even if you don't actually plan on playing for the day, at least log in, do your daily rewards and your voting every single day. Highly recommended and definitely worth it on this server. Next, guys, we're running back north to the man hut because another place that I do want to show you is the Achievements Master. Zeros has a massive, massive list of achievements that are actually crazy rewarding. So literally from killing 100 rock crabs, you get a free 100k, a granite mall, and a casket. Sadly, I've done like literally no achievements on this account because it's just a spawn account, but there is a massive list and they're all massively rewarding. Like look at all of these guys. Open up the medium tasks, another huge list. And what's cool about these two, as you can see, you can actually get every single one of these skilling pieces too. One thing that I really want myself was a full angler set. And next, over here. If you've watched my videos in the past, you definitely know what this place is. This is the Outlast. Outlast is a tournament-based system. The rules are simple. Outlast everyone and you'll be rewarded. It's actually such a cool tournament system. Anytime I'm actually streaming the server, I'm definitely running as many Outlasts as I can. Not only are they fun as hell, but you can progress your account so easily. I believe if you place first place in the tournament, you get yourself 8 mil cash and 5 tournament points. And where do we spend the tournament point? Tournament shop manager right here. I do believe he does plan to change a few of these things in here, but... We have these Cape of Skells, these Mythical Cape, which, to my knowledge, the Mythical Cape is the best crush bonus in the game. Let's just take a look at this real quick. Oh, plus six. Yeah, that is massive. And actually looks pretty clean, too. Of course, the full skeleton set, where I actually bought these spiked manacles. Very cheap. They're five points. The full ornate set. Two pets here. You got the guard dog and the terror dog and full obsidian. <laughs> Tournament is a great way to actually grab some raw cash, and it's mad fun, guys. Like, I've literally spent at least 20 hours just running around in the Outlast. So if you don't know, there's a few different setups. I think there's Darox, there's NHing, there's no armor, there's max strength. Eve, I could be wrong on this one, but I believe there is also pure fighting. Of course, if you guys have any other suggestions for any possible tournament modes, drop them down in the comment section below, and I will 100% forward it to the owners. And moving on, guys, we're going to come over to the Teleport Wizard over here, the Zeros Wizard, and click on Skilling and go over to the Skilling Island. This is actually kind of a different one because skilling on the server, yeah, all the skilling supplies are worth a decent bit of money, but the main thing, clue scrolls are so goddamn common. I think I have 70 five fishing on my Iron Man and I've gotten over 10 clue scrolls which like took maybe two hours in total and the cool thing you don't have to complete them if you get a clue scroll click it and it's done I love that dude it's a private server for a reason stop making me run around fucking Gelinor so not only you're gonna be able to sell all the skilling supplies that you do actually gather to any players around this game because they are worth a decent bit of money but every single clue scroll guys massive rewards and sadly for the next one, guys, I don't actually have any clips of it because they are world bosses. But under server information, guys, you can see the world bosses. The next wildy boss is going to spawn in 19 minutes. And what the wildy bosses actually are, there's either Saren or Sodas Egg. And thankfully, Noah's actually given me 50 of each key to actually open for you guys. So let's go find these chests and open them up. So every single kill that you do actually get at Soda Seg or Saren, you're going to get yourself one key. Let's open up a few of these. By the way, I'm not overly sure if I'm going to get one, but they do actually have a small chance to grab some PvP items. Spam some of these real quick. Ooh, that's actually... Wait, a Dexterous Scroll. That's actually so good. Got a few Barrows items so far. A Seer's Ring. 50... Ooh, Ranger's Tunic. I like it. By the way, guys, these are the Saren keys. I'm not overly sure if the keys are different or if they have the same drop table, but we got another 27 to spam through. And let's get it. Dragon Pick, Dragon Hacks. Dude, Fury, D-Boots. These are actually so good. Oh, Imbue Dust. That's wicked. The Imbue Dust actually lets you imbue your rings just like this. Bop. Keep spamming through. What do we got? Ah, oh, damn. I got a B-Ring. Ooh, a VLS. That is so good. And as you can also see in the chat, guys, I'm getting like 25 to 27 PK points every single open. Keep spamming. There's another 35 PK points. These are actually really good, man. And that's that inventory done. So as you guys are seeing, every time you see Soda Seg or Saren spawn, make sure to jump into the Wildy and actually do it. PKing on the server isn't necessarily too, too active, so don't worry about that. Well, I would honestly, yeah, worry about it, because at the end of the day, don't take anything into the Wilderness that you're not willing to lose. Couple Dagon Eye pieces, some more PvP points. Hey, Ranger Boots, and that's gonna be the rest of the Saren keys. So we got 50 Soda Seg next. Let's get into these. It's looking like, for the most part, probably the same drop table. Ooh, Zuriel's Robe Bottom. I like it. A hey, Morgan's Leather Body. Bro, I'm gonna have a sick ass P Kang setup soon. And that's for the first inventory. I love how this server has shift dropping. Not many servers go to the way to add it, and like, once you do it on old school, dude, it sucks not having it. That's cool that you can actually get the raid prayers from these. Abyssal Whip. Oh, Stadius Plate Legs. Stadius Plate Body, I like it. And for the last two, Archer's Ring and D-Legs. See, like, these are actually really good, guys. Like I said, every time you see one of the Wildy Bosses spawn, make sure to jump over and do it. 
inside of the PK store, guys, is actually really, really rewardable. So taking a look at this, crack and tentacle, every single one of the god swords. We have abyssal bludgeon, abyssal dagger, a couple dark bows, armored crossbow, heavy ballista, both of the wards, amulet of the damned, fury ornament kit, granite clamp, every single one of the books. Like, see, PK points are pretty rewardable as well. And it's only 2400 for an AGS. Buy myself an AGS, and let's do this. So guys, the first unedited comment today that I see type eggy914 down below is one themselves the AGS that I just spot so grats whoever won that and message me in game brother but yeah peking is really rewardable so if you actually choose so when a world boss spawns gear up and pk and go kill everybody else or go fight the world boss to each their own if you guys like pking if you guys like pvming both are actually active on this server and the combat on here is actually really smooth quick little honorable mention guys if you do choose so the server has a beautiful player owned shop the trading post on here is actually amazing now if you know how feel free to merch a tp like i know a lot of you guys have made bank on previous servers merching so this server can be the exact same the tp on here is actually really really smooth and last but not least guys we're gonna jump back over to the teleport wizard and scroll down the massive massive boss list that they have so of course we can make bank from pretty much every single one of these but massive notable ones are the nightmare the alchemical hydra we have vorkath inside of the monstrous teleport guys you could also jump into the crystal cave or the lithkrin vault and on top of that, of course, guys, we're going to be getting ourselves more PVM points and more PVM points. These are so goddamn good, dude. I believe on my Iron Man so far, I bought myself my Barrow's Gloves. I bought the Fighter Torso, the Fighter Hat. And I think the next push for me might either be the Ring of Wealth or the Zamorakian Spear. So guys, extremely quick video today. I really hope you enjoyed. Just wanted to showcase a few different money makers that are actually viable on Zeros. Feel free to come check out this server with me and over 100 others. The server peaks at like maybe 70 to 75 online, so it's actually blowing up. Zeros is mad fun, and I post two videos a week on this server, so be sure to come check it out. Anyways, so guys, like I said, super quick video today. I hope you did enjoy. And as well, make sure to smash that like button for this huge giveaway that I'm dropping today. Day. Anyway though guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Link down below. Make sure to join my Discord, but later boys!